YouTube. So we are doing free code camp, JavaScript algos and data structures, and we are in basic JavaScript on challenge 50, almost halfway. So challenge 50 is passing values to functions with arguments. So in the last challenge, we created a function, a very basic function, and now we're going to pass arguments to that function. Um, we're going to pass values in the form of arguments. So this function should look similar to the one we just created last time, except Inside of the parentheses, we, we can see we have two pieces of data. We have param1 and param2. So functions can take in parameters. Uh, the actual values that are input or passed into the function are known as arguments. So the two parameters to the two arguments are passed in through the, parent the parentheses here and then can be accessed within the function within the curly brackets. Whatever, again, whatever is in the curly brackets, when this is called, we'll execute. So we can do our logic with whatever data we have in there. So if we call test fun, that's the name of this function, we've passed two string arguments, hello and world. Param1 will be equal to hello, param2 will be equal to world. So these names, these parameters, are kind of arbitrary. Whatever gets passed in here, we're simply console logging, but it will be passed in in this format. So we're going to create a function with arguments that accepts two arguments, function with arguments here, that accepts two arguments and outputs their sum to the dev console. Call the function with two numbers as arguments. So we're going to do the same thing as we just did in the last challenge. We're going to say function to instantiate a function, and we want to call this one function with args. And the curly brackets and we open it up and we're going to output to the console so then we want to console.log but what are we console logging well we need to take in our arguments so again the parameter names the argument names that we put in here are relatively arbitrary we want to use something that it makes sense that's easy for readability so we can say in this case we're taking in numbers we can say num1 and num2 and whatever numbers we take in, because these are just variable names essentially, we want to do some logic with them. And we can reference them with these argument names, these variable names, these parameters. So we can console log num1 plus num2 because we want to return the sum. We want to output the sum. We could also just say, so everything in this block, in these curly brackets this block of code will execute so we could say console.log num1 just to show you num2 and close this off So now we have our function. We need to call it function with args. If we pass it, let's say 420 and 69. Now, as you can see, num1 and num2 got 420 as num1 and got 69 as num2. And this line, this console log, right here so we can see that works properly and then our second console log adding them together summing them up works properly as well and again it is important to note that these names are arbitrary so we could just say whatever and whatever else camel case because we're proper whatever The important thing to remember is we just have to reference whatever we call it here within the code block of the function. And we're still passing it the same numbers, so it's going to output the same. The challenge did not want this line, so we can take that line away, and we should pass. There we go. And it's important to note that these are essentially variables. 
we're assigning the variables here, we're assigning the arguments here, uh, and we can pass in whatever data we want. And it will work the same because it is a reusable function. Hope that made sense, and hope to see you in the next challenge.